all the pieces will come together. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm out here finally again. It's got a warm day here in Florida where I can sit out here in the park and, you know, write my books and, um, you know, do some tuning in, channeling outside in nature. And so as I was on my way here, um, I had gotten some um, download, you know, um, some communication and something just to share with you about manifesting, like all the pieces are going to come together, right? Because I'm working on um, creating uh, like a center in, um, you know, different ways of really trying to tune in and understand who we are on, you know, a level and bringing everything together, right? Um, from what I've known, so I'm creating a center to help other people. Um, to understand themselves, to understand who they are um, beyond this physical form, um, to be able to work with their innate abilities, to be able to channel their own information and connect directly. And so this is in the works in the evolution of time. And what I mean by that is um, planting the seeds for this to happen. And even though it isn't in the physical realm at the moment, it's in the energetic realm field and, you know, uh, of creation. And if you're working with manifestation, you would understand that you do have to plant the seeds, right, for this to all evolve. And so this is a pretty big thing. Now, when we're manifesting, you know, of course, little things are going to come very much quicker, you know, and things like that. And our mindset has a lot to do with that, too. Like, how big is it? You know, and how long is it going to take me? Um, so, you know, my podcast, my books, everything is going into it. So I'm doing all these different things. Um, it's the path and the journey to it. And so the, the information download that I got today, and this is going to help you along the way, because if you feel like it's not actually happening or you're not getting anywhere, just keep going. As long as you have a goal set and mindset of what you want, where you're going, where your passion is, what your soul came here to do. Of course, we can all uh, manifest the house, we can do a car, you know what I mean? But our soul, we have a soul purpose, right? And everybody has one. And it's digging within and trying to find that and bring that out. Where's your passion? What is, where's what's coming in through you? It's like, yeah, there's this passion that we have, but there's also, oh, look at that car. I love it. You know, that's two different things. Right. Anybody can want a car, <laughs> you know, but what is real passion? It comes from deep within. Right. And, and my soul is about helping people um, to understand themselves, to bring awareness to themselves, to help them thrive, to be, you know, who they are in, in their excellence of who they, you know, their their own spiritual being, uh, why they came here to awaken and, and um Part of my journey was doing my own work, right? And I did 10 years of my own work. And that was part of the journey to help me to understand where I am and getting rid of all the conditions, the beliefs, and letting all that go through my death experience, the angel, then having the kundalini, and then working with energy, raking, healing, going into counseling, working on myself with all these tools and getting rid of all this stuff and un really getting to the core of who I am, understanding who I am and, you know, what is it really that I'm here for? What is, what is it that my soul wants? You know, because again, anybody can want a car, a house, <laughs> you know, um, kids and, and that's great. That's on a human level, but we have a soul level of what we all come here to do. Right. And so, my passion lies, um, I, you know, I have a few different passions. One of them is painting, acrylic painting, um, and being creative, right? And so I do that in my spare time. And that also helps me connect and bring in information and put things out in my paintings. So if you haven't seen any of my paintings, check it out. I do have some posts on YouTube. Um, but I also do channeled writings, if you don't know what I do. And I do do sessions, one-to-one -one coaching. Um, and I had left 
that's a whole other video, but I left counseling, you know, to do coaching because counseling doesn't work. Um, and I'll, I'll do a, a video on that. <clears throat> but coming into coaching, I help people, you know, develop their awareness, their abilities, who they are, what is their true uh, compass point, you know, in direction and fine tuning that and bringing them into fruition, right? And to help them plant the seeds um, with where they're going. And so I have my own thing that I'm creating because I want a whole center, right? And I, I, I want it to be, you know, on quite a few acres of land, uh, basically. And so people can come and learn and educate and develop themselves, right? And so that is my goal, right? To help us to reestablish and connect to ourselves because everything in the world here takes us away from ourselves, religion, education, government, you know, and, you know, and, and this is for people who really want to dive into who they are and don't want to have that kind of a life and suffer their life, you know, go to work, go to school, go to work, come home, cook dinner, uh, like a repeating cycle, like, like being on a program, like a cycle, you know, it's a hamster wheel, just running day and day and day, you know, and that is something that I got tired of doing. And this is kind of what, you know, the millennials brought that in. And I've talked about that, started bringing that energy in and kind of people went uh, in a different directions. And so that's going to continue to evolve as we're going into 2024 and everybody's moving away from that. People are leaving religions because they're waking up and they're seeing the falsehood in it um, and the delusions. And then, you know, people are waking up. And so it's really time to start developing these things and really getting them out there to help people reconnect and establish who they truly are and where they're going in life and to put the power back in your own hands, be sustainable. Right. And so that is really the power, your own divine connection. You don't need people to connect to source. You don't need an intermediate, intermediate person. You don't need to go to a church. You don't need, and, listen to somebody else preach to you, right? You have your own inner guidance. You can reach any information that you want by turning in. You don't need a Bible because it's all written. It's all here recorded within you. And, you know, I've learned all this through my own journey. You have the Akashic Records and I, I tap into that, um, you know, and in my center is what I, I'm not trying to heal people because I went through that journey too. I was like, okay, I'm going to be a counselor and I'm going to try to help people. But in the realization, Source told me and showed me that, you know, everything is in divine order, right? And so what I mean by that is, um, you know, there's a, I think I put out a video on this one person, you know, even though he was in his place where he was, you know, whatever we're needing, the universe supplies us. So even if we're smoking a cigarette and our, we're just living on the street, you know, whatever's needed comes. Somebody will come and give it to you. Somebody will bring it to you. And whatever it is that your need is, it may not be a want, but it is a need. And so your needs are always fulfilled. Um, so when we're in that space and we're allowing that to, and we understand that, um, we're able to bring in our, we're able to bring in the, um, the, you know, the guidance for what it is that we're creating kind of got taken off track there. Um, but that's the, the hazards of being out in, in public doing recordings. But I, I, when I have the inspiration to do a video, I just want to pop on and do it. And I come out and do my reading, readings and, you know, channelings and stuff like that here for the book. But whenever we're, you know, when you have the scenario like that, where like, we could be just wanting a cigarette. Somebody will come up and give you a light, right? And my one of my my soulmate, right, had brought that awareness, and that's how I came into understanding and dived and researched, you know, law of attraction, right? The universe is there to bring to you what it is that you're wanting, whether it's good or bad, whatever it is that you're needing. Your needs are always uh, fulfilled, right? <laughs> whether we want them or not. Um, and whether it's good for us or not. And it's about choosing, right? What are we choosing? But anyway, my soulmate had, um, and I'll do a different video on that, but he had opened my eyes to the law of attraction. And ha having had him leave, he came in, he was like my teacher. He was a teacher for me. And he, he was also a soulmate and very romantic um, and on a deep level, like a deep, deep level that like, he like, 
360, right? And, and it was it was an amazing experience. But anyway, after he left, I started diving into all these things. Like things just started opening up for me. Like, and that's what soulmates do. It's not that soulmates are here to be here for you forever. You know, they're here to really waken you, to open you up. And whether that is through suffering, through uh, lessons, through teachings, whatever it is, but it definitely worked. It helped me out on so many different levels you, you, you can't even imagine. But anyway, glad that happened. But moving on, you know, we're always given what we need and not always what we want. And so even on like if we're you know just needing a cigarette and we're having a bad day or living on the street, you know, somebody's going to give you something. The universe is going to bring it to you because it is your need. It's not what always what you're thinking, but it's always what you're, where you are and you're needing, you know? And so like when I have stuff and I'm driving by somebody who might be homeless, I just give them stuff, right? Because you're actually being a, a part in the play when you're doing that, right? You're helping evolution because we, for us all to wake up at one time, that means we all have to be in a place where we can wake up. People who are living on the street aren't going to focus on waking up because they need to survive. So that's their focus, right? Survival. Um, and so for everybody to wake up at one time is very hard to happen, you know, unless it's a divine intervention, right? So understanding that you are a pivotal piece in the puzzle on every level whether it's in the face of somebody who's having a hard day, somebody's living on the street, or somebody who's on the opposite stream of consciousness, right? Whether they're they're rich or you know they're still suffering, you know they're not their lives aren't perfect, you know they're doing things that uh, makes their life uncomfortable as well, you know, and and they have their own sufferings. And I'm going on rants here because I have so much to to share. But anyway. <laughs> um, what I really wanted to get at today is that all the pieces in the puzzle, even if we're not where we are, that we want to be, it's the journey. And this was the download to rem remind myself that, um, you know, all, all the pieces of the puzzle are being put in, right? So you're planting the seeds. It's like this creation of something that's going to come at once, right? And so as it's coming together and you got your goal, right? Or what your intention on what you want to create and what you want it to be. Along the journey, right? We're actually putting things and planting seeds. So it's like you're going to be guided to different things. So for instance, I'm trying to create this, this center, right? And so all the things that are going to go in there, right? And I'm working on these so I, ha I have the books that I'm writing I'm doing the videos I'm doing the YouTube and I'm contemplating on land where is this going to be trying to put it out in the universe talk with the universe communicate with the universe meditate stay you know keep myself in alignment you know the, I have all these things going on as we're got our hands in, 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 the, in the clay sort of say doing all these things and as I'm going and I'm always like okay putting my my energy into it so like what is when I when I say that what, what do I mean by putting my energy into it it's like my passion right connecting with my passion on that and yes this is what I want reconfirming and I did a video on um, some things on you know tips on manifesting it's like just reconfirming you know what it is that I'm doing or what I'm wanting and then Yes, that's what I want. And the universe, uh, because I have the, I've awakened my abilities, it's, it's easier for me to see things that the, the universe is bringing to me. And I'll be seeing things, in, images and visions as I'm going, right? And the universe knows what I want and what I am. And all the pieces, it's like the, the cooperative components all coming together at once to create this universal um, budding of what i'm creating right basically it's it's like the seed that comes to the flower and buds right and i've kind of explained that scenario um but like as you're going along you're like things will come in and you'll be like yes no yes no and that's how it is for me anyway and it's like i get these visions and you know i 
over time, you know, and it's like, okay, I see my, my, my one room. Yes. And I just confirm. Yes. And it's like the universe shows me these images, right. As I'm going along my path. And these are seeds that I'm planting as I'm going. Right. And so what do I want? I'm reconfirming that. Yes. Yes. I want that. Yes. I want the garden. Yes. I want this. And yes, I want that. Even though it's not here, it's manifesting. It's being created. Right. And may, I may not know the location yet, but that'll come. And it's just trusting in the universal uh, creation of it. Right. And so wherever that is that it's going to be, it's going to show itself at some point. But along the way, we are creating. Right. And so a lot of people may not see that if you don't have your intuitive abilities awakened, um, may not see that the communication between you and the universe, right? And so the understanding of it may not be in your awareness. Um, so that's why I recommend reestablishing your intuitive abilities, your psychic awareness, your, um, in, your divine connection, who you truly are, you know, because this is just going to help you along the way of manifesting what it is that you're wanting, what you're meant to do as on a soul level right here. Um, and this is part of being here. It's, you know, we have our, our human self and our human life, but then we have our spiritual and, you know, things that we want to create on that level, right? And so because we are the change in the world, right? And so when we have that and we can step out of just being the, the human consciousness and we are able to now step into our divine connection of who we truly are and understanding that we're able to bring them together and be in the world like that versus just in the human form, the condition, right? Cause that's all that is. It's the condition state. It's not really who we are beyond that. Right. And when we can put that down, we can see so much more and it's kind of like, it, that's the enlightenment, right? We have so much more, uh, to offer the world, to be the change in the world. Um, than just everyday working in a societal system, which is a conditioned form that is actually currently breaking down. And so more and more people are waking up, stepping out of that. Because um, this is a time of evolution for that, right? And so it's expansion, right? The worlds are coming together to bring about a new world, basically, new space in reality, right? And sometimes, you know, people will talk about that, like the, the new world, the new earth, the fifth dimension, the reality, things like that. They'll term it different things. But it's basically the same thing. You know, we're moving and shifting into new, or newer consciousness, new awareness, um, rise in vibration and being who we truly are and standing out and standing up for our, you know, our divinity, our sovereignty. So now is the time and this is the place and how you do it is where you are doing it now, right? We don't have to wait until we pass over to do anything or who we are, to know who we are, to expand who we are. Um, it, it's here now. This is where we do the things that we do, right? And this is how we get to where we go to the next level, right? In an expansion, right? And so it's through that awareness that, you know, we are making change here and now in the moments, right? Not um, at another time, another place, um, you know. And so I was, I was, I was driving to the, uh, to the, the park to start writing and, you know, putting my intention to, okay, back into my focus because during the week, I don't always get to focus on this. So whenever I have the weekends, I get to focus on this. So putting my focus back onto, um, what it is that I am creating, you know, and manifesting and, and putting my, uh, you know, my attention to that point. Um, what, what I was putting out there was like, okay, um, just reminding myself, you know, I'm on the way, you know, um, it, it's a journey just to remember that it is a journey. Um, and even though it's not here, that it's still in manifesting. And so bringing myself back into that space, that awareness of it, because sometimes if we don't see it showing up, we may think it's not working out or it's not happening or because it's taking so long um, because by us, it's time. We have time, which is slower condensed version of time than what it is on the other side. So there's no time, which is the expansion of time. So it takes no time there, but it does here, right? Because it's broken down into uh, quarters and, and 
percentages and whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I really don't want to get into all that uh, on this video, <laughs> you know, about the, the time uh, continuum. But um, the expansion of time doesn't take any time, right? It, it's, it's, it's there automatically. And so when we're here, it's not. And so it's the journey to it. And so it's following the long, following the, the intuitive um, pings, if you will, and seeing the visions that come in. So like I was saying, you know, I, I had vision of like this, this, um, this creative art space, right, which I want to have um, as a part of it. And so as things are coming to me, and I'm seeing these, and I'm just confirming them. Yes. Okay. It makes me know that things are happening when I see these things, and it kind of brings me more back into that space where you just have that intuitive knowing uh, that things are happening and shifting and changing, and you're going in there and you're on the right path and things are moving. It's only you just can't see it because at that point it's in manifestation. It's like energy, right? So if you are or have worked or known about Reiki or energy, you know, you've you probably learned that you know, everything's energy and then becomes form, right? And so this is a manifestation process of it. It's, it's energetic on that level and it's becoming, um, all the cooperative components are coming together to create it. And so um, all the things that you've been doing your entire life, even if you may not realize that it was a part of what you're going to be doing in your life, when you get to that part, you have to go through the journey to be where you are now. And this is the point um, <laughs> of this video. And I'm sorry it took me so long to get there, but it's the journey, right? Um, but with that being said, you know, it's, it's everything up until the point where it is becoming created. And you have many of creations along the way. And it's like every time you think, oh, this is it. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's something more beyond that, right? And so it's it's the journey to the journey to the journey to the journey. And it's like all these, aha, aha, this is it, this is it, this is it along the way. Um, and, and just understanding that, right? Because where I was to where I am now, it has a part and a play and a role in what I'm going to be doing, right? Because it's, I had to learn that and go through it in order to be where I am to understand um, so I can do what I'm going to be doing, if that makes sense. And so it's the journey of it. And so the first part of my life was not the easiest, right? <clears throat> but to go through it, it helped me to understand because it brought me to my awakening, my death experience. And then from my death experience was the whole healing and learning and um, soulmate experience and the Kundalini and everything coming back to who I truly was from the delusion, from the separation of who I was and the conditioned state of the human consciousness and the ego and breaking free of that and working my way back to what I'm gonna be doing with the center, right? And what I wanna create. Um, now, if I didn't go through all that, I wouldn't have what I have now, the knowledge and the wisdom in order to do that, right? And so now I'm in the space of creating from here to there but everything that's been along the journey which is the point even though you may not think it plays a role or part in it it's all divine right it's all meant to be the way it's meant to be and it is the way it is and that is your journey and so a lot of people even though you're suffering right and it doesn't make any sense of why you're going through your going um it does when you see it, right? And that's the journey. Um, and it, it's all, I can just say it's all divine, right? And so you have a purpose even in your suffering. And so a lot of people don't see it that way. And so, you know, it, it can be tough, you know, depending on what you're choosing because you're choosing this life, right? You're choosing this life. You choose it before you come in. And it makes sense when you see it and realize it from the other side of it, the other perspective, and you can look back on it and it's like, oh, you know, this this was needed for this and this was, you can start connecting the dots and it makes sense to you. 
right? It's no longer an illusion or delusion of why this is why that and why it's in. and then you can find the forgiveness and love that you need to find in that, right? And that's healing, right? That's divine healing. Um, because you can't, you can't do something if you haven't gone through it and whatever it is that your sole purpose is and doing it you need to go through it and to learn and to understand it so you can do it, right? If that makes sense. And so through the healing of my own self, coming back to my own true nature of who I am and understanding that, I'm able to move forward and help others, right? And so at some point, like I was saying, I was going the wrong way. And I learned that you can't heal people. Um, they have to do it themselves. They have to want to. And that I learned that in um, counseling for people with addictions, right? And so there's very little um, success in that because, <clears throat> and I'll do a different video on that, but there's little success in that, especially when you're trying to heal other people because if they don't want it, they don't want it and it's not going to happen. Right, um, you can't force somebody to do anything. It has to be coming from them. You can help guide them, right? And so I went from understanding, you know, my suffering to the awakening to trying to help heal people and doing like Reiki for them and doing this for them and you know trying to be the healer of them, which found out that, you know, of two years of that, that you, you can't heal people. Um, you can only help guide them. And so then that turned into the download of, okay, I've learned that I cannot heal people. And so I can only help guide them and teach them. And so that goes back to the saying, you, you know, you give, you fish, you know, you, you, you fish for a person or you teach them, I don't know, I forget what the saying is, um, but you, I don't know, you give them a fish for a day and they eat for a day or, and then, or you teach them to, to fish and they, they eat for life or something like that. And so it turned into that, right? <laughs> and which fits into like the whole uh, spiritual religion kind of concept, which um, like I mentioned in past lives, I was a nun, a Buddhist, um, a spiritual master. I was a, a guru. I was, I was so many different things, um, which is coming through in this lifetime to help me navigate this life into doing what I'm doing, right? It's creating the center. And yes, there's times I go in doubt on, okay, is this really real? Is this really what I want? And But I have to bring myself back into, yes, this is my focus point, right? Because when we don't see it over time and we're getting tired of waiting and tired of waiting, you know, and so, but that puts us off from the track, right? And so we want to try to just reconfirm, yes, this is where I'm going and put it on like a board, put it on your board where you're looking at it every day. So that's your focal point, right? Put it on a vision board or whatever it is that you're doing, a, a journal every day, put it by your bed, um, wherever it is, your workstation, Put it there and if even if you're working at another job and you're manifesting something else you know um, outside of that because you're trying to transition like i am i'm trying to transition out of that and get more focused on to my more time on this um for a center you know you got to keep that at the forefront and when we're doing other things we're actually putting energy to other things like the thing that we're doing that we don't want to so it's kind of restricting you from doing what you want because you're not fully focused your intention on what you really want. Um, and so sometimes we just can't let go of that so we can do this, you know, 100% unless we've built the bridge. And so building the bridge helps you to get somewhere. And it's trying to find a, a, a balance and a healthy um, way of doing that. But if you can make make the decision to be, and I, I've, I've been working on this myself, make the decision to be happy at what I'm doing now, where I am now. I can bring more of that energy in faster because if I'm sitting at what I'm doing that I don't wanna do um, and putting that energy in, it's gonna affect the other energy, right? You want to try to play out the, the um, level out the playing field right, is the words I'm looking for. And 
when you can do that, it's just by making a choice. And I, I do that. I get up in the morning and I'm like, even though I don't want to do what I have to do in order to get to where I want to be, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm making a choice today. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to make it fun. Right. And so I am putting that energy into what I'm doing to help the transition to something else. Right. And so it's the journey to it, you know, and all the things that we've been putting in our whole lifetime is leading up to where we're going because you are um, the creation. You're not only creating, but you are the creation. You've created everything before you've came in and you've been working on this like your entire life. Right. And so being able to see that and realize that in your own self, who you are in the transition stages, even if it's suffering, it's bliss or whatever it is, you're going to be able to help manifest that in the, in the long run um, if you become aware and open to it and understand how this is all taking place for you. Nothing is ever against you, right? Because everything you signed up to, you're experiencing, right? Whether you want it or not. And, and sometimes it's not always for the best. And if it doesn't happen in this lifetime, you know, it, it'll be another lifetime because every part up until this very moment has meant to been, to be, to been, <laughs> have been, right? Or is being, right? So everything from that point to this point is where you're meant to be. You're never off the track. And Abraham Hicks talks about that. You're never off the track. You're always on the track. It's just, it appears that you're off the track. And so sometimes we go off the track so we can do the things that we need to do in order to, to get on the track. Um, and so those are things in points in our lifetime where we're doing things that we're experiencing something else than what we want to experience. And that brings that in to where it is that we're going because then we've grabbed that experience, the knowledge, the wisdom from that to pull that in. And so there's these little um, side roads, like, off the highway, you know, the little um, side ramps. Okay, I got to stop over here and go grab something to eat, grab that and get back on the highway, kind of like that scenario. And so like, try not to like beat yourself up if nothing's manifesting or wherever it is. But at some point, you're going to be able to realize that everything that you've ever done in your entire life has been for the purpose of its own creation, which is your your world your own world right who you are where you're being where you're going what you're doing and what you're creating right and so it's all divine it's all it's all purpose it's all perfect and per anyway um but all the that, that's the whole thing that came in and i know i'm kind of just rambling but um everything has has a purpose and as you're manifesting and bringing all these pieces in, it's going to come together and you're going to understand it. And then, you know, there's going to be more and more and more. There's always more. You know, it's never ending. You know, it, there's never no end point in anything. It's always creation. And from here, you know, you're evolving from this place. And then you have that. And then, then what's next, right? And then you go into another place. And so you're manifesting something else. And then you're, it's an ongoing evolution of creation that's happening within you and for you you know it's it's never against you even though you feel like the world's against you um and and of course that could be like you know your situations your life your relationships your job your career who you are what you're doing um and so when we're punishing ourselves or it's just navigating yourself and through that but every piece that you've thrown into the, the puzzle right or the the whole outcome of it um, is meant to be. And so kind of that's just the basic um, understanding and what I really wanted to share here. And I know I kind of went on all these little different little rants here, but it's all a part of it. It's, there's so much that's a part of it that can help you to realize when you're, when you're manifesting and working on something and to bring it into realization um, that you know, and you're not alone, that you're not alone in the world and that you have support and that everything is there for you. You know, you have source, you have the universe, you have your guides, um, your own divinity. And so everything is just perfect and divine, right? And so don't worry about it. Just keep putting those seeds into whatever it is that you're creating. And um, 
it, it'll it'll show itself to you when it's ready. And when those components come to, together, um, just keep going forward, you know, just keep manifesting. So I don't know if that was helpful. I know I kind of went off on a lot of different topics, but it's all different pieces of it. Um, and I don't want to keep these videos too long. Um, but yeah, if you, again, like I do channel writings, I'm writing the books and I actually have some books out there already. So um, this is one of them, um, The Way Through. Um, it is a spiritual discourse, the I am. And this was like beginning um, of my journey with automatic writing when I was in counseling. And so I have a lot of things in here that may be helpful to get started with your manifesting and understanding yourself. Um, and a lot of things came in that helped me to understand myself, you know, about who I was and everything, how the universe works, the universal laws, manifesting, ego. Um, so there's a lot in there. It's on Amazon and I have the links um, in, in the, you know, the below. Also, I have this one. And this is going to be uh, the healing the car the karmic overlay, right? And so this is a very small book. And it just gives you like very small snippets. This actually came to me when I was um, during my 10 years, right? And um, of the, the death experience, and then the angel and so in the counseling field, and that was like a lot of my spiritual awakening and understanding and then my channeling of this book here um i had woke up one morning went straight to the laptop and started just channeled channel writing this and this is what came out right and it was just like i don't know it was in a matter of like five minutes that i wrote all this and so it was like i was just like straight on channeling this information um but it talks about having faith and um seeking truth and um healing enlightenment and it just gives you some like passages and invocations in there that'll help you stay on track um and so i do have and then i have a second one um so there's the the first the way through and then there's the second one so it's it's full with a lot of writings in there um channeled writings that i have and again it just talks about like alignment abundance um, ego, self-healing, um, why people heal, harm each other. Um, and so like creating awareness, not fears, which is very important. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on these too. So it's not just going to be in the book. So if you want to um, stay tuned into the, the YouTube channel here, I'll be talking about those. And the main book that I'm creating here I do clips on that and I'll be putting that like in the podcast so um, that's pretty much what my channel is going to be about and it's just growing um, the awareness and helping people to realize their divinity and who they truly are and you know helping people so they're not suffering right and so taking back our power because we are moving into the fifth dimension a different reality a new world a new earth and so we're going to need this information right, to bring forth to us. So the more that we can go in this direction of awareness and consciousness, you know, we can let go and easier of the, the old world, the old ways of what's existing. And, you know, and we do that through a lot of ways. And so whether that's like your, you know, healthy behaviors, meditation, going out in nature, just that establishing your divine connection, with who we truly are in source, you know, rebuilding that for ourselves and allowing ourselves to be the temple uh, for where we are in this lifetime, right? And yes, a lot of my understanding has come from my past lives of being a Buddhist, things like that in this lifetime, because I ended up in a Buddhist center again for like five years in this lifetime to bring up a lot of that and do some more self-work on myself, right, and to that point. Um, but, and then also, you know, waking up our intuitive abilities, right? And so these are things that we're going to need in the new worlds uh, of where we're going, right? And so our divine connection, our intuitive abilities, so establishing those, meditation, eating healthy, you know, and employing choice, right? And yes, we do have free will. And so that is what we want to do. We employ free will into what we are doing, right? And taking our power back. That is our power, is choice, right? Um, and even like just in eating, Right? Do we want to, we have free will and we have a lot of choices on what we eat, but 
does it mean it's good for us or is it something that is going to take us down a path where we're going to suffer, you know, and have uh, physical ailments, things like that. So choice is really important. And when you're choosing, you're creating, right? And so that's part of manifesting as well. Um, and that's pretty much just where I want to go with, you know, this video, because I could go on and on and on um, about a lot of things, but I'm going to kind of end it there. And so thanks for tuning in and check out the books around Amazon. If you have any questions or want to book a session, uh, reach out to me and let me know. And happy journeys.